Once you have your iTunes Store account set up, it's time to go shopping. It might take you a while to decide whether you prefer to use one-click or the shopping cart approach. Luckily, you can change your shopping method by choosing Edit and then Preferences in Windows, or by choosing iTunes and then Preferences on a Mac. In the Preferences window, click the Store tab. The Store Preferences window that appears offers several settings you can adjust. The first two settings allow you to choose either Buy and Download Using One Click or Buy Using a Shopping Cart. With the one-click shopping method selected, you click the Buy button whether the item is a song, an album, a TV show episode, or an audiobook. For example, if you select a song in the list pane, click the Buy Song button in the far right column for the song. You might have to scroll your iTunes Store window to see the far right column. When you select a TV show episode, click the Buy Episode button in the far right column. You can even click the Buy Album button for an album advertisement. With one click, iTunes complies immediately. The iTunes Store displays a warning dialog to make sure that you want to buy the item, and you can then go through with it or cancel. When you click the Buy button, the download automatically shows up in your iTunes library. The iTunes Store keeps track of your purchases over a 24-hour period and charges you for the total sum rather than for each single purchase. You might have noticed that one click seems more like two clicks, if you really want to use only one click to buy an item, check the Don't Ask Me About Buying option in the warning dialog so that you never see it again. If you don't like the one-click method, the iTunes Store allows you to add items to a shopping cart to delay purchasing and downloading items until you're ready. With the shopping cart, the iTunes Store remembers your selections, allowing you to browse the iTunes Store at different times and add to your total without making any purchases. You can also remove items from the cart at any time. When you use the shopping cart method, the Buy button changes to an Add button, as in Add Song, Add Album, Add Episode, and so on. After adding items, you can view the selections in your shopping cart by selecting the Shopping Cart option underneath the iTunes Store option in the Source pane. The shopping cart appears in the List view with your selections listed, and recommendations from the iTunes Store appear along the top of the window. Each album appears with a triangle next to its name, which you can click to open and see the album's songs. Albums, individual songs, music videos, TV episodes, and audiobooks are listed in alphabetical order by artist name or by TV show name. If you decide not to buy all of the items in your shopping cart, you can easily remove them. To delete items from your shopping cart, select them and press Delete. A warning appears, asking whether you're sure that you want to remove the selected items. Click Remove to go ahead and remove the selections from your shopping cart. When you're ready to purchase everything in your shopping cart, click the Buy Now button in the lower right corner of the shopping cart view to close the sale and download the items all at once. Alternatively, you can click the Buy or Buy Songs button for each item you want to purchase. You can see the list of all the items that you bought by selecting the Purchased playlist under the iTunes Store option in the Source pane. The List view and Browse view change to show the items you bought. All sales are final. You can't return the digital merchandise. However, you must successfully download the entire purchase before the iTunes Store charges you for the purchase. If for any reason the download is interrupted or fails to complete, your order remains active until you connect to the iTunes Store again iTunes remembers to continue the download when you return to iTunes and connect to the Internet. While downloading from the iTunes Store, you can select Downloads in the Store section of the Source pane to see the progress of your downloads. You can also pause, resume, or cancel any particular download.